Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, yesterday on my Telegram channel, again, if you are not subscribed to my Telegram channel, if you don't have Telegram, I'm going to put uh, the link to my Telegram channel in the description box below. It's free. I can post a lot more on there because I don't have time to do videos all day. Uh, but sign up. It's free and I post a lot more on there. However, yesterday on my Telegram channel, I put a post that said the rubber band is about to snap. What I meant by that is the situation right now in the Middle East, it's already bad, but it's about to explode. I mean, the things that are happening now, almost on a secondly basis, I can't keep up with it all, folks. Uh, but since it involves Israel... Jerusalem, and the Temple Mount. That's why we're watching this. It is amazing because Israel is God's prophetic timeline. If you want to know what time it is on God's prophetic timeline, you watch his timepiece, the nation of Israel. Israel, the hour hand. Jerusalem, the minute hand. The Temple Mount, the second hand. And when you look at what's happening over there right now, folks, all I can say is Jesus is about to come and God is about to put his full attention back to the nation of Israel for Daniel's 70th week, the time of Jacob's trouble. But folks, the rubber band is about to snap. I had to share with you a couple things today. First off, Hamas's top leader, Ishmael Hamia, just called urgently for the people and armies of the Arab nations to move on Israel. And he's calling for them to move on Israel right now. He said the following, we warned everyone that this conflict could escalate into a regional war if the Israeli occupation military continues its attacks and destruction throughout Gaza. Again, Hamas's top leader, Ishmael Hania, just called urgently for the people and armies of the Arab nations to move on Israel right now. Not only do you have that, but also in case you didn't know, Currently, happening right now, thousands of Iraqis are flocking to the Jordanian border to join Hamas under the slogan, this is the slogan they're using, we are going to Jerusalem, saints, by the millions. Again, happening now, thousands of Iraqis are flocking to the Jordanian border to join Hamas under the slogan of we are going to Jerusalem, saints, by the millions. I mean, folks, Israel is prepared for the ground invasion into Gaza. They're just waiting on the green light. But once they get the green light, they will begin the ground invasion. And Hezbollah and the other proxies of Iran have warned, once you do that, this thing is going to go to a whole nother level. And over the last few days, I've been doing tons of videos talking about how, uh, how this whole thing, since it started on October 7th, is pushing us in the direction of the fulfillment of several biblical prophecies, folks. And again, because this involves Israel, because this involves Jerusalem, because this involves the Temple Mount, that's why this is huge. And all I can say, at any moment, the rubber band can snap because we see the surrounding enemies of Israel right now all confederating. They're all joining together at this particular time in the call is to join together and to wipe Israel off the map. Now that's not going to happen. Because the God of Israel is going to step in. And defend Israel. And destroy those that attempt to wipe Israel off the map. But all I can tell you guys. Is that the rubber band is about to snap. And God is about to put his full attention back to the nation of Israel. For Daniel's 70th week. The time of Jacob's trouble. The seven year tribulation period. And if we see this time of Jacob's trouble because the purpose of the tribulation period is for the salvation of the Jewish nation. It is the time of Jacob's trouble, not the time of the church's trouble. So if we see God is about to step in and God is about to put his full attention back to the nation of Israel for Daniel's 70th week, and we know the rapture happens before the time of Jacob's trouble begins, before the tribulation period begins. How close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. 
All I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, you need to get serious about this. Look around the world and look at what the Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ in him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? The gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. He was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places. You will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. Eternal torment, eternal separation from God. Absolutely horrific. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. He loves you so much. And he demonstrates his love for you for what he did for you on the cross. But the reality is, Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven and the only name that can save you. So I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming and he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.